Hi, this is Vincent. So I'm at the Boo Sea Keeper at the Dubai Boat Show, and I wanted to take a few minutes to chat with you about why Sea Keeper has been so popular in the boating industry over the last few years. Now, when it comes to boating, there are a lot of equipment that comes on board, but one of the game-changing piece of equipment on board the boat over the last few years has been the Sea Keeper, the stabilizers. So how does Sea Keeper work? So it's very simple. And I'm going to try to explain to you, but one of the things you love about Seekeeper is they are really good in their marketing to explain to their clients how easy and simple to uh, embrace Seekeeper, to use it, and it's they're very powerful. They don't base their marketing around their product, that they are the best, that they have the best product. Their marketing is based on, if I look at the brochure, they say, with a push of a button, your boat transforms from rolling to stable, guests go from sick to smiling and memories turn from never again to best trip ever. Now you can see also one of the slogan here, once you feel it, you'll never boat without it. So let me try to explain, I'm not an expert in Sea Keeper, I have no association with them at all, but let me try to explain what's going on behind Sea Keeper and why is it so popular. So one of the things you need to understand when you go boating, one of the main reasons people don't like boating is because they get seasick. And the seasickness comes from different motions. So there is, first of all, there is a roll that when the boat goes from port to starboard like this, there is also the yaw when the boat and the pitch. So Sea Keeper, mainly the purpose of Sea Keeper is to take care of the roll, okay? And they remove up to 95% of the roll on a boat. So how do they do that? They use gyroscopic force, okay? They have encapsulated sphere in a vacuum seal sphere. And so this sphere is turning extremely fast between 5,000 to 10,000 rpm okay now when this sphere turn around they are very good because it's vacuum sealed it doesn't consume a lot of energy and there are those brakes here that you can see on that side that will help you to move the sphere forward and move it different direction so that it eliminates the roll on a boat it takes around to give you an idea it takes around 40 to 45 minutes for the for the for the, 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 the flying wheel to reach its maximum speed. Now, they have different models. This one, I believe it's a Sea Keeper 9. This is a 3. So there are models that go from Sea Keeper 2. So let me open the brochure and tell you exactly. So Sea Keeper 2, 3, 6, 9, 16, 26, and 35 for the biggest one. To give you an idea, talk to them about my Miami boat. So I asked them what the smaller boat then it's called Sea Keeper on. They told me it was around 22 feet. And the biggest boat was 220 feet. Give you an idea of price. Sea Keeper 2 is around $20,000. And a Sea Keeper 35, if I'm not wrong, not an expert in that, is I think around 220000 so around tenfold. Now, they also have another series of Sea Keeper, which is the HD series, the heavy duty series, which is for boats that are used more than 1,000 hours per year. Okay, so what else can I tell you about Sea Keeper? They are quite small. You see a 35 feet center console. It takes less than 1% of the space. Okay. And when you talk to them, what I really like is the way they explain things. They don't go into a complicated uh, explanation or too scientific explanation. They use proof. They always show you how it works. They have some little gyroscopes that they show you. And they use social proof. But the main thing, the main reason I think they are very successful is because they don't self, they don't base the marketing based on themselves, okay? They're not the hero of their marketing message. The hero is a client and they tell them, the, the sea keeper is your guide and we're going to help you to have a pleasant experience on board. So what else can I tell you about the sea keeper? Uh, I mean, we are working, we've been working with over 300 shipyards worldwide over the last 10 years, and you wouldn't believe the number of units that I'm starting to see installed on all the different boats out there. And they were telling me that last year, they installed, I think, 2,500 units, and overall, since the beginning, they've installed 8,500 units so far. So that's what I had to tell you about Seakeeper, maybe about the weight, if I'll tell you about the weight, a small Seakeeper will be around... I think they are around, uh, if I remember, 400 pounds. And the biggest one will be around 4,000 pounds for the Sea Keeper 35. Another thing, installation, they're pretty good at installing them. And it's fairly easy to install them. And um, 
oh yeah, the first two C keepers, the C keeper two and three, they can actually work from DC power. So you don't even need a generator. They don't consume too much uh, power because they are very efficient. So I hope you like this information. And if you want more information, just contact your closest C keeper uh, installer or go to the website and hope you'll have fun with this information about C keepers.